Good morning, praise the Lord. Today, February 28th, last day of uh, February, we'll talk about Caleb, the person who wholly uh, followed uh, God. Uh, Caleb, whose name meant dog, lived up to his name by being faithful to God throughout his life. God himself commented and said about him, My servant Caleb is different from the others. He has remained loyal to me and I will bring him into the land he explored. His descendants will receive their full share of that land. We see this sentence in uh, uh, Numbers 14:24. The fulfillment of this verse is recorded in jo Joshua 14, 6, 6 to 15, and we'll see about it tomorrow. Caleb is one of the 12 leaders of the 12 tribes whom Moses sent to explore Canaan at God's command. God had told the Israelites that the promised land was rich and fertile. Not only that, he promised that this bountiful land will, would be theirs. To prove that, the scouts cut down a cluster of grapes so large that it took two of them to carry it on a pole between them. We see this sentence in uh, number, Numbers 13, 23. Just imagine, we carry a, a bunch of grapes with the tip of our fingers, but they had to carry it on a pole. While Caleb and Joshua saw the goodness of God, the other ten spies couldn't stop focusing on their fear of the giant like men, which made it easy for them to forget God's promise. While facing a tough decision, we should always look at God. The negative, negative report of the ten men caused a great rebellion among the people, but Caleb tried to encourage the people by saying, let's go at once to take the land. We can certainly conquer it. Since Caleb had seen the land himself and trusted God's promise, he was bold enough to stand before the angry crowd and say, If the Lord is pleased with us, he will bring us safely into the land and give it to us. The Lord is with us. The whole community began, began to talk about uh, stoning Joshua and Caleb. Caleb and Joshua were deprived of Canaan's blessings for 40 years because God's wrath and judgment had come upon the Israelites. Caleb had to suffer for other sins, but he never complained. His trust and hope was in God alone, the faithful God. Caleb was a, a man of faith. He neither overlooked nor underestimated the high walls, the fortified cities, the giants, nor the power of God who is greater than all. Caleb saw everything in the true perspective, that is with God in the picture. He did not measure the giants against himself, but against God. The ten spies saw themselves as grasshoppers compared to the giants, while Caleb saw the giants as grasshoppers compared to God. Such was his faith. Like in 1 John 4.4, 4, he believed that he who is in us is greater than he that is in the world. This uh, we have to learn. We can be reminded about Paul here. In uh, 2 Timothy 1.12, Paul says that though he was suffering in prison, he was not ashamed of it. For I know the one in whom I trust, and I am sure that he is sure that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him until the day of his return. What uh, faithful people we have in Bible. Let's also pray that we will become like them. Let's pray. Lord, Help us to understand the faith of Caleb and uh, be like him. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. Amen. God bless you.